Welcome to this YouTube channel. We are Bibleway Temple International, an apostolic church situated in the Mova Lavantil community, located in the beautiful Twin Island Republic state of Trinidad and Tobago. Our mandate is to touch and transform lives by being good stewards, sharing the message of Jesus Christ. And today, it is a pleasure to share this message with you. We invite you to praise and worship with us as we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord over our lives. Brethren, God is truly good and all. Sometimes we, we don't deserve it. I say sometimes you don't deserve it. Well, if you deserve it, that's all right. Sometimes I don't deserve it. But I thank God, amen, that he loves me so much, amen. And in spite of my faults and my failures, amen, he still come true for me. He still hears me when I call, amen. He answers, amen. You know, and this morning, a little word came to me, a very familiar Familiar passages of scripture, amen. Something that we, we learned from Sunday school when we were a child, amen. And even, even before some of us got saved in school, we, we learn it and we hear it, amen. And this was the word that came to me this morning, amen. John chapter 3 verse 16 very familiar passages of scripture. Some of us could say it by heart. We don't even have to open our Bibles. Hmm? John 3.16. Huh? Say it by heart. My God. And we truly want to thank God this morning. For God so loved the world. <laughs> that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Oh, what a powerful passage of scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. When we understand who God is, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one that said, let there be and there was. Amen. Hallelujah. The one that that, that Breathe the breath of life into man and created man. Amen. The one that provided everything, hallelujah, in the garden. He saw us, amen. He saw us. And he sent his son, amen. He sent his son to give us life. We were going down that broad road of destruction. Before he sent his servants and, and, and man got rid of them, amen. And he decided to send his son, his only begotten son, hallelujah. And you know this story, he, you know, he was conceived by a virgin, amen. Hmm? He was conceived by a virgin, amen, hallelujah. She wondered why, why me? Why me? Why I had to do this? Amen. But the, the, the angel told you, you were chosen. So you were special. Hallelujah. And she brought forth this child. And his name was called Jesus. Herod tried to destroy him. Even at his birth. I'd like to tell you how wonderful and how privileged we are this morning to be able to serve him. Amen. Even the child, amen, was threatened. He as a child, he was threatened. Hallelujah. And when he grew, amen, and became a big man, they thought, well, they get him. We kill him. But it all that was it. In his plan, amen. His plan was to die for our sins. 
Hallelujah. That was his plan to die for us so that we might have life and have it more abundantly this morning. Brethren, it's a privilege to be able to serve the true and the living God. Some people don't want to do it. So some people don't want to give their life to Jesus because of all kind of reasons. Hmm? Whosoever, whosoever, anybody, whosoever, believe on him. Hallelujah. Whosoever, do you believe in Jesus this morning? Do you believe the Son of God this morning? Hallelujah. You are one of the whosoevers. You decide to say yes to Jesus. You decide to say, Lord, I'm going to live for you. I'm going to walk according to your will and according to your plan. Amen. In spite of the situation, when we look around today, hallelujah, all we could see is disappointment. And the question will arise, where is the Son of God? The question will arise, where? is God where is he so much debts where is he so much life has been taken away from a simple call I was sharing with my cousin some time ago I don't know if you all got the remember some, some last year or so uh, 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 a text came to us that, that the enemy has a plan. Y'all can remember that? And he's, and, and, and you all, God, cannot do nothing. Y'all can remember that? And I was sharing that with my cousin. He said, but I, I know, I can't remember hearing about that. And when this thing started to happen, amen, my mind reflected. The devil is having a field day, brethren. The devil is having a field day, and as though God can't do, you hear my, you hear my words, eh? as though God can't do nothing. But I tell you, God allowed it to see who are those are truly. Is. God allowed it so that if we want, I'm going to put it like that, <laughs> we're going to hold on to him. Or if we don't want, we're going to let him go. Give up. He allowed it. And again, the enemy Maybe think that I win, but he ain't win. He ain't win. Brethren, I said he ain't win. So we going through the test. We going through the test, and I encourage you, don't give up. Hold on to the Son of God. Hold on to His word. Do what He says. Live for him. So at the end, at the end, you shall be victorious. Even those that are dead will be victorious. Those that are dead, they will be risen. First the Bible says. So they and all will be victorious. And we that are alive shall be caught up to me. Is this the word? Well, I hear in all your if that's the word, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Those that are in the grave that shall be caught up. And we that are alive shall. Huh? So even though they're gone, they shall be victorious. So we had to hold the faith. We had to hold on. Amen. Be encouraged, brethren. I tell you, it really sad, amen. Every day again I call. 
Every day again I call. This one gone. And you know that one gone? You're walking along the road and you're, you're minding your own business and you hear two partners talking. Hey, you know I'm um, red man gone by? My God. My God. My God. Have mercy. It's sad, brethren. It, it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad and hurtful. But God is still alive. He is still on the throne. He is still able to deliver. He is still able to heal. He is still able to set free. All we have to do is to hold on to his word. All we have to do is to trust him. And not to give up. And not to be discouraged. And not to get weary. Through this time of testing. Oh my God. Through this time of pain. And heartache. The Bible says at the end. Perilous time will come. This is the word. And he told us not to be. be, be you know. You're, 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 oh God. Don't, 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 be, don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. Look up. For your redemption. Jesus is coming. And the Bible says he's coming for a prepared people. A people that are ready. Without spot. Without wrinkle. Huh? So the little things that you... We just say, God understand, let me stop that. The things that we just say, God understand. No. God, you don't understand. Because you put things in his word for us to, to, to go according to and for us to do the right thing. He's merciful. He's merciful. Remember I tell you, he wanted to lick up the children of Israel? Because what? They murmuring. They fussing. They complaining. I fed up of them. Moses. Moses had to come between God and the people. To beg for them. Simple thing as fussing, complaining. Hmm? So let's, let's really, sometimes, I mean, oh gosh, oh my God. Let's really hold on to God's word, brethren, and be encouraged. Don't, don't get weary when you see discouragement before you. Don't be discouraged. Don't get weary when, you see, when, when you're planning your thing, you real organize your thing and you fix it right and bam! Bam! And you watch me, everything in order, you know, sis. Everything in order. But somehow, when you're looking for the answer and you're looking for it to come true at the end, something come into this courage, you And you put everything in place. But how come? How come? That's all right. That's all right. Okay, Lord. I, 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 and you're praying and say, Lord, direct me. You're asking for the direction. Bam, it comes through. Okay, Lord. If that's how you want it. It comes a different way, not how you want it. Okay, Lord. Don't hurt your head, brethren. Don't worry about it. God is in control. Because here what will happen, and next day you're going to see, boom, it's in place. Just so. You ain't even studying it. You ain't even thinking about it. Boom. God fix it. It's in place. That's how we operate. We must be tested. We must be tried. We must. So that you're going to be able to come here now in our service and say, hey, you know, so, 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 so is the case. And so, so. But if you think smooth all the time. Smooth. Like some ice cream I just eat from the Muslim in 6th Avenue. Always smooth. 
Smooth ice cream. No, you know, some of you lick on your, all kind of thing again on your tongue, you're feeling. Nah, smooth ice cream. Yeah. So if everything's smooth like the ice cream, how are you going to know that God is able? Huh? How are you going to be able to trust him? How are you going to have a testimony? Huh? But I encourage you this morning. God loves us. That is why he sent his son. So that we might have life. And have it more abundantly. So that we could share with somebody. So that we could give back to somebody. So that we could minister to somebody. So that we could bring somebody to him. Life more abundantly. Hallelujah. He has given unto us. So today, we thank God, amen, because of who he is. Brethren, we cannot do it on our own. We need him bad, 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 bad. We can't do it on our own. Don't try, David. Try. Because you would fail. Lay it in his hands. Huh? Lay it in his hands. So I thank God this morning. Bishop and they are not here. They went to Bego to a wedding. Amen. Himself and Ella Larry. Sister Marsha. Actually, I know the person. Um, Brother Joel. You know, Brother Tall, Brother Joel. Big. He's getting married today. And we thank God for that. Amen. God is still, you know, doing good things. Amen. So we ought not to be worried. We ought not to fuss, hot we head. Because of his love towards us, and I just says, because of the love towards us, huh? that love that he has for us, just to show, because we didn't deserve it. That is just to show, I'm going to fix it for you. You need not to worry because I love you. If your parents didn't love you, you think they go, Buy clothes. Come and eat something, girl. Come and eat something, boy. Huh? If they didn't love you, they wasn't calling you. They will leave you right there, hungry. They ain't preparing nothing for you. That's a summary. If they didn't love your children, you ain't preparing nothing for them. You leave them hungry all the time. You ain't buy no nice clothes for them. But because you love them, you prepare for them. You, some of us able to, to buy a piece of land for them because you love them. That is yours. When they get bigger, you go, that is yours. Because of love. Hmm? But if you ain't love them, you ain't preparing nothing. They had to struggle for themselves. But be Jesus, he loves us. And his plan for us is to keep us. Provide for us. He will not fail us. Amen. He will not disappoint us. As long as we put all our trust in him. Amen. Thank God this morning. Thank God this morning. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say I love you Lord. Hallelujah. I love you Jesus. God is so good. Thank you for joining us today. Please like and share this video. If you need prayer or counseling, feel free to call us at 680-7111 or WhatsApp us at 754-4270. Someone is ready and waiting to pray and speak with you. If you desire to make a financial contribution, you can make a direct deposit to our Scotiabank checking account, Bibleway Temple, account number 120 0176 Transit number 90035 On behalf of the leadership of this ministry, Apostle Celestin and Mother Europol, we say thank you and we look forward to having you fellowship with us another Sunday.